from just 19 pounds on sale now at Ticketmaster. Bin. Taking on the Polish warrior, that is Adam Pawash. My goodness, Luke, that stare down was intense. Yeah, Pawash means business. And Boku Chu is going to need to try and upset the party here. We're definitely going to try and change levels, get underneath these shots, and get this one to the mat, I believe. Yeah, watch out for the power shots of Adam Pawash. And he flurries so well as well, mixes it up. He came to mixed martial arts quite late. Again, I think he was enjoying fighting outside of the sport. Found kickboxing to begin with, which is where you can see his striking come from. And then just really loves the heat of competition to battle against these absolute monsters. Does well there to, to, to move away. You can see the uh, the intention for the takedown. He threw him off straight away. And now stalking his man. Has him up against the fence a lot. A big right hand lands, doesn't put him under though. That was a big shot that landed right yeah. on the jaw of Bokuju. Oh, big head, head kick. kick. Nice variation of shots, but Bokachu takes it. It's just calm. This is the experience, right? He has been in this game for a long time. It just doesn't want to overextend, does Palash, because Bokachu will get him down. And if he gets to the mat, he's very dangerous. Palash keeping that low center of gravity as well. You can see he stands the taller of the two, but sitting sitting on his base, making sure that he's not an easy takedown. And here he comes. Can he free? Oh, big Ooh, knee. Nice knee, but gets pinned up against the fence. <laughs> Another knee another lands one. and another Ooh, one. That frame is excellent, but Bokichu is keeping hold, <laughs> committing to this body lock. <laughs> Good head position and manages Watch the to trip. pin him up against the fence. <laughs> yeah, Bokichu works well for the takedowns from these positions. And Palash, you can see physically the, the bigger and probably the stronger of the two. But Bokichu doing fantastic here. Great technique on display as he pins him up against the fence. Oh, oh, nice, nice little switch. switch move and nice knee again lands. Three or four landed. Bokuchu unfazed at the moment. Oh, nice left hand step in. Framing up that uppercut quite well is Bokuchu because he's defending with those hands on top of his head. The only, the only space open is that uppercut. Charges forward with his own strikes. Oh, hey. Big swing and a miss. Overthrew that and nearly paid a big price for it. Getting into a bit of a rhythm though, Pawash. You'd like to see something from Sofian just to break that up a little bit. I love the feints and the movement from Pawash. You just you don't see it so much from heavyweight fighters, the way he moves and the way he shrugs his shoulders and feints that hip. I love that hip extension, like he's gonna kick again, lifts the leg. Nice now, work now, from Bokichu yeah. and lands. Firing forward, big shots from the Frenchman. <laughs> Heavy leg kick. Already in at the last two minutes of this first round. Again, you can feel the baited breath of this whole arena watching these two giants swing that leather. Nice check as well to block that inside leg kick. Charging forward well here. <laughs> I don't know what that kick was. Is Bokachu as he tries to look for that takedown. A little bit obvious opened up for the takedown, but charged forward well. Has done that a few times, blitzing. He's looking for that though, right? The clinch. He's trying to get it up against the cage. To yeah, work that's, that, that's why I think Paolash is just rough running away rather than standing his ground and throwing lever. Again, chucking him off. Very, very good tactically. Not, not willing to you know, allow it to happen, not even giving him a chance, which is great for Palace. Even if it makes the fight last longer, means that he doesn't put himself at risk. Oy. Goes low and goes high, though, Pocketu. Last minute of this first round. Not a crazy pace for either guy, though, right? No, they're going, they're going very calm, measured. Needs to watch that red, right head kick from Paulus does Bokichu as he keeps fading off to his left. I like Bokichu's stiff jab, he's got a very nice straight left. Mixing it up to the body now, Pawash. Again, charging forward. 
Palace not standing with. If it was me, I would want to stand there and throw the right hand. But he doesn't want to give any chance for this to happen. Yeah, this is the position that they obviously have been drilling to try and stay away from or get out of. Sometimes when you drill, like to stay away from it and beat it and avoid it, it, it kind of makes it inevitable that it's going to happen. That's one of the problems. Rather than just stand, if he stood his ground and threw a heavy right hand as this guy charges in, he'd probably lay him out. Oh, stumbles back. I think that was sure that more was. over his own feet there, got caught under both feet. But we come to the end of the first round. Interesting round. Paolo is definitely the more offensive and, and keeping his range. Off we go, round number two, Powash, red corner, Sofian Bukicu in the blue corner, France versus Poland here in Bratislava, Slovakia for Octagon 47. So Powash being clever and defensive uh, and negating all the problems that Bukicu could cause, but that's affecting his game. He's not fighting the way we're used to seeing him do fight. Do you think he's learned from that last fight? Because he came at Lazar Todov thinking I can do what I did to uh, Tade Deitchman before, right? And then it, that went three rounds and he Don't lost that decision again. The only two losses on his record are decision, or one finish, one decision. But do you think that's affected his mindset coming into this, his game plan, just to, you know, not push everything into that first three minutes and try and find a way to uh, open up the, uh, the finish, which is actually intelligent fight. Yeah, I think he's matured a little bit. You can see it. He seems very cool and calm and, uh, and relaxed in there. But, yeah, I think may maybe that's inspired him to be that way. I think he just doesn't want to give any chance to Bokicu to get taken down. I think he's just being defensive and evading oh. and not being too offensive so far. Nice kick and a jab there from Powers as they restart. No intent on that low cup kick. Still wouldn't want to take it from the big man. Looks so good here as he comes forward. Oh, there we go. There's opening up a little bit. But then backed away straight away because he doesn't want to get caught in the, in the clinch. And again, running. A lot of running in this fight. Looking for his own takedown. Very oh, interesting. Gives jumping up the on neck. that neck. That's the threat of Sofian. Talk about knockout power. He has the same sort of skills in submissions. He can lock onto a limb or a neck very quickly. Interesting now. mentality there from Paul Ash. Keeping that base wide, making it as hard as possible for Sofian to get this to the mat. He'll go for 100%, switching him out. Good work, or big knee that time from Sofian. But almost looks afraid of Sofian. He, he, he's not in there. Not established himself yet. I think, feel like he's giving Sofian a lot of respect. Oh, nice trip from Powash. Wow. Powers gets Who on would top. have called that? This is interesting, especially with this amount of time. Three minutes, ten seconds left in round number two. Well, we know Bokicu wanted to be on the map, but I don't think he wanted to be on his back with the man Powell Ash on top of him. But I reckon he'll have confidence in his, in his gut if he should be able to regain it right now. Powell Ash looking heavy on top, like that elbow bearing into the neck, the throat, the face. Maybe looking for oh, a side choke oh, here. Oh, this if, would be immense. If he can get his head down, keep that head down, which he has the availability to, but can't quite wrap it up. Could he almost step over as well and go to the full mount here? The, the legs are open, wide open. Maybe being baited, though. Right in front of us here in the commentary box, yeah. trying, to, trying to get maybe that head and arm position again. Switches it up, nice little elbow. Turning in, all the way in. Gives up the back. This is a spot we've never seen Powash in, but now look at this Sofian building himself and back he gets up. broken back down. Good work there from Powash. <laughs> Little shots up against the fence right in front of us here again. Pulls oh, him back down. Him Beautiful down. work. This is great work. And really broken down there as well off the fence. It's very difficult, especially with a heavy man like Powash on you. And he's, he's, in, he's in a great position there. On fans him as well. I was about to say it's very difficult to stand up without the fence, especially when you have. 120 kilos on your hips. Yeah, exactly. This is a, again, we always use that phrase, the evolution we're seeing in this fight of Powash. He's always got that opening for that side check. It's interesting how he turns. Bokichu is turning all the time for that. He's not going for it, because I think he's trying to bait him to step yeah. over, maybe. Oh, he's, he's looking for that the, key lock, yeah. Definitely actively searching for submissions. Great to see. Against the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu brown belt. The whole question on this 
quite ahead of it was Papawash should avoid these ground uh, exchanges, but he's holding his own look at more. Uh, it's different when you're on top, though, especially as a heavyweight. It's getting it. If he was on his back, I think he could be in a lot of trouble against Bokichu. But at the moment, looking very calm, very collect, very dominant. Trying to step over and pass. You need to oh, be careful with that Kimura. Yeah, that Kimura, that's a threat. If he bridges up and brings his hand to his chest, he should be fine. He could, if the wall wasn't in the way, he could turn it into his own arm bar. He's, trying, he's going for it. He's looking for the reversal. Oh, he's got it behind the looking back. for the sweep. Oh, my goodness. Spookishu now. This is a dangerous spot. Well reversed there, but still in danger is the arm there of Adam Powash. Managed to get it Whoa. free. Used the fence. Intelligent work there to avoid. Great work, though, for Bokichu. We did say he was dangerous from the back. Getting a, a, a Kimura like that, I wouldn't expect from the bottom as well, especially with the big men. But managed to use it to sweep and then got swept back. Yeah, 10 seconds left in this, in a, a different round that we've seen from Powash. And Powash gets another takedown as well, switching. Could maybe look to take the back now if we wanted to, but I think we'll just see the round then. We'll fire a couple of extra shots in there. Dominant second round. Wow, nice really? to takedown before the end of the round as well. Finished on top, final round here, this heavyweight contest. Sofian Bukashu in the blue corner, taking on Adam Powash in the red. Heavyweight division has the spotlight on it in Cologne in the Laxness Arena, November 18th. Hatef Moel will take on Lazar Todev for that vacant heavyweight title. Again, oh, switching up whoa. for the takedown. Gets and the that outside reap. Body lock on the trip, Luke. Yeah, very Body lock on the trip from Adam Powash. Multiple times converting the takedowns. Very une unexpected from him. But paying dividend at the moment needs to be careful of that Kimura. You can see he's searching for it again and had success with it. Mount, full mount now. And goes to the, the back. back. One hook's already in. Sits back. Good hit position. But he gave up the, the second hook, which I find interesting. Gave up the first hook now. Happy to just, you know, float on the back. Yeah, right. His opponent, again, intelligent fighting from Adam Powash. They're not staying too connected. But definitely making him carry his weight, Luke. Nice oh, little shots. Very nice. That's what I like, pulling him off the fence, keeping him busy. Manages to work himself back up. See if he pulls again, if pulls that right hip out. If he stands up with him and pulls that hip. Oh, he oh. stamp on the back of the car. That's just mean. Flicks that leg out, breaks him down again. And remember, Bokichu is going to be getting tired as well, carrying all this weight constantly. That armbar, uh, sorry, that Kimura is still there, though, as well, from the bottom. If he manages to get the grip, I can't quite see because he's under the body. Then maybe that's what he's searching for. Yeah, has oh, the Kimura again. grip. Has this again. grip, and then it, oh, gives up on it. Nice work from Palace to pull it out. But that's definitely what he's searching for. Would have yeah. felt it in that second round that he, he could have could have got it. And you can see how tight he makes it as well, just by the way he positions his arm. Just under three minutes left of this third and final round now. He's going for that Kimura trap again. If he can get hold of the grip, he can twist his whole hips and get the sweep. He bades it. And Powash, dominant here. Not the performance we expected from him, but an impressive one so far. A technical one. This is it. We're so used to the, the highlight reel barn burners that he delivers, especially in victory. But tonight, you know, technical, even th this takedown, the, the lead to this position, the body luck with the tri outside trip to get it to the mat. Great stuff from the Polish heavyweight. Now Pokachu turning up again. Actually, he's not seemed to try to stand back up. I think he's trying to open up a submission attempt from here. Going for that cross grip, trying to avoid getting hit with these big shots. There's a good left hand. Pulls him off the fence, great work. And then very beautiful movement there from Palash. Yeah, final one minute, 45 seconds now. Sofian just struggling. He's going Turned him yeah. over again and then just flans him. Yeah, Sofian struggling a lot. He's moved the last minute and a half. Covering the face, old school, not just stamping on calves. Which is pretty mean. It's still pretty pretty mean, yeah. I'm not even sure if that's legal. <laughs> <laughs> then going for this 
knee ride, crucifix. Has this good half guard position. Been solid here for most of the fight. When he's had half guard, he's very hard to move. Uh, Bokachu turning his back now, giving up the back, turning the other way compared to the first round. There's just no explosiveness from Bokachu though, no, right? And no urgency to stand up. He's and right. has a great position here to stand up. Beautiful position. Can get that left leg out with ease if he just slides the hips forward. Yeah. Just, just doesn't want to expel the energy. He's trying to control both of those. Well, two hands on that one wrist, but it's not going to do him much good, right, as the clock ticks away. Yeah, not much you can do from here unless oh, he stands up. I mean, going to eat one of those big knees. Goes to the baseball bat. Now he does stand up. Beautiful work from him. Oh, he look at that. Back down. Beautiful. Look at that. It's an exquisite performance. It might not be the eye-catching stuff we're used to from a power wash, but, but my chaining goodness. Chaining them together, yeah, yeah. chaining down those takedown attempts, switching it up right in the corner as well here of Bokichu. <laughs> Now just 10 seconds left. Could this be the first decision victory on Adam Powers's record? A step back into the green, into the win column. And a, a showcase, a showcase of the Polish man's. Ladies and gentlemen, let's see how the judges score this fight. All three judges score this fight for the favor of the winner who's coming from the red corner, Adam Adarsiawora Palas. After breaking attendance records across Europe, Octagon MMA is now set for their first event on British soil, where UK fans will finally get to experience the breathtaking live spectacle that Octagon is renowned for in Europe and beyond. On this night, two champions will be crowned. In the main event, we will see the UK's Aaron Avey, a man who has been fighting since his first breath, take on his toughest test to date. American and UFC veteran Elias Garcia in a fight for flyweight gold. Plus, the grand finale of the MMA reality TV show Octagon Challenge, England versus Ireland. After 10 months of training, a feature bout that puts two UK stars that nobody would expect to see inside the cage going head to head. Ladies and gentlemen, Prague, one more time. One of the UK's best comedians will take on reality TV superstar Jake Quickenden. He used to watch stuff and think he's fucking funny. <laughs> now I've got to punch him. Two of Europe's most decorated bantamweights will battle it out for the number one contender spot as England's Jack Cartwright takes on Croatian killer Anton Ratchic. After months of trash talk, the grudge will finally be settled as Liverpool's rising star, Shemrock. Listen! There's a certain police officer out there who won't keep my name out of his mouth. But Corny, sign the contract or shut the fuck up. We'll get his wish and we'll face off against the Czech warrior, Yaroslav Pokorny. Huge punishment for Pokorny. The British slayer, Jakub Banik, will come up against the Force when he faces Jedi, Akon Wanlis. I know you guys might hate me, but one by one, and one day, I will be champion. Octagon 48 goes down November 4th at the historic AO Arena in Manchester. Great Britain, Octagon is coming. Tickets from just £19 on sale now at Ticketmaster.